Srinivasa Stadium pool for the second leg of the 24th annual Royal Tommy and Water Polo encounter for the Dr. R. L. Heyman Trophy. If you can't hear me, I apologize, but the crowd is raucous. And they're raucous because Royal have come back from a two-goal deficit to win by five in the under-15 trophy for the Mahindra Leonage Cup. And Royal sensing blood here and uh, might think that this is the first opportunity for a team to come from such a big deficit. Four goals St. Thomas has taken to this lead to come back and win the Dr. R. L. Heyman Trophy. As always a first time, stranger things have happened in sport and Pamukya, the gathering clouds overhead. Does this spell doom and gloom for St. Thomas's? We'll have to wait and see. Yes, good evening, Shanaka, and good evening to everyone joining in. Yeah, we certainly had a dark sheet of clouds rolling in from the west, and there were fears that there might be some interruption to play with a thunderstorm play, but thankfully, the weather seems to have cleared up. The teams are ready to get things on the way, and we, it will remains to be seen as to which team that cloud of doom and gloom is portraying in Lomans. Well, the under-15 game is uh, rather an inspiration, uh, Pamokya, and I'm sure they've seen a lot of boys would have taken a lot of heart from the fact that this, the juniors won by as much as five goals after losing last week. So the seniors, if they can do that, they can overturn this deficit and win by one goal. So I'm sure Alok Aprelis would have been uh, telling the boys to take an example from that. Do you think it's possible tonight? Definitely, uh, Shanaka. Of course, we know that the gap that the seniors have to surmount is a bit bigger. Four goals, uh, whereas the boys and the 15s only had to come from a two-goal deficit. But knowing Zafar Zainuddin, he will have told his boys to forget about the lead. There is no four-goal cushion. Go into the game and focus on winning this particular leg. So St. Thompson's College, I'm sure, will be coming in single-mindedly focused on winning this particular game. Absolutely. They can't afford to think that they have a two-goal lead. Just come out and play every quarter like it's your last. That would have been the uh, advice from Zainuddin. But Alok Caprelli should have got some confidence from being able to overhaul a lead. I'm sure Roy would have worked on the deficiencies they had in their game from last week. And uh, do you have any inside info on any strategic differences that they might make uh, today, Pamukya? Uh, not really, Shanaka, because the one thing that we need to look out for is how they adapt after seeing each other play because remember it's not like last it's not like last year the year before this is the first game of the season for them the first official game so neither team has seen each other play so it will be very interesting i'm sorry if you can't hear me but both crowds getting very raucous right now as the team get ready to get jump into the water yes and uh, looking across at both teams as we see the referee here the man in on the spot a little bit of a controversy towards the end of the last game where St. Thomas has contested a goal as we look across at the uh, large swathe of uh, blue and gold across uh, from where we are seated here and uh, they are really in full volume today and I'll tell you what, it's going to be an absolute spectacle if Royal managed to overhaul this. Yeah, the match ended with a bit of heat in the last leg as uh, I think the Thomian camp felt that uh, Royal College played the ball far, too far forward from where the foul occurred and it ended up in the goal with Chandula Fernand uh, managing to pull one back for his team. And it would be interesting to see uh, Pamukya whether that goal, that one goal that St. Thomas has seemed to be unnecessarily worrying about at that stage, whether that goal is going to come back to haunt them. I don't think that they will be thinking about that too much right now. I'm sure it was a heat of the moment thing. I'm sure once they got them back into the changing room, they would have said, all right, let's forget about this. We still have four goals, which is a very good lead to have coming into the second leg. And right now, the focus will be on winning this quarter by quarter. Dina Kavira Ratna, last year's captain and scorer of uh, five goals, was it last, uh, last week or four goals last week? Uh, second time in a row that he's done the four goal uh, hero number when he was a captain and now when he's a former captain. His final Heyman uh, appearance today and what a servant for St. Thomas's water polo he has been and indeed for St. Thomas's sports. He's an excellent cricketer and athlete as well. Yeah, he was absolutely the difference last, in the last second. And I think some, that's something that Royal has to work on. They allowed him far too much space to shoot, especially in the first two quarters. And he was complimented by his team. I, one thing in particular that I noticed, Keshan Munasinghe. Last year, he was taking shots, scoring goals. But this year, his play was to compliment Dilaka. He found space for Dilaka, so for Dilaka to get the shots off. And you saw how effective that was with him scoring a hat-trick in the very first quarter itself. 
Yeah, that was an impressive start uh, that St. Thomas has had, but I'm sure that uh, the finish that uh, Royal had will uh, encourage them as well. Royal will need to start well this time around. If St. Thomas has scored first, then five goals is a psychological margin. But if they can get Kisal Asalarache into the game, he was anonymous last week, uh, Pamukya, and if they can find him some space and some room to move inside, that, uh, ho inside the hole, as we call it, I think there might be something for Royal. Yeah, I think one of their major flaws last uh, in the last set was their passing. They were they were picking up some pretty poor passes, and we saw St. Thomas College kick off. And God, as we see, the swim ball is now underway. Rifat, uh, in fact, it's Yaya Jaffa. Rahul Vitanagay, in fact, wins that ball for Royal, and it's brought up by uh, Rifat Uwes, just turned 19 a couple of days ago. Rifat, one of the uh, Uwes brothers. Swimming in is Royal, but good defense there. Good defense by Isra Kahandawala, giving no space for his man to work with. But the ball is back with Royal as Rifat Uwes as it again takes a long shot and it's off the bar. I don't think the Thomian camp was expecting Royal to be taking shots from the halfway mark at this early stage of the game. No, they are not, and I think it's a good thing they are actually. Because one thing I noticed last week was that Royal didn't shoot, so Prelis has clearly told his players to shoot. As Akil Sarja, but uh, the ball has been turned over. So a promising start for Royal this time around as opposed to last week where they started very slowly. And here's the uh, new man Rahul Vitanage. Didn't feature a lot last week. Chandula Fernando the captain. Ball under is the call. And that's good defense from uh, Isharu whether it was in the number 5 cap for St. Thomas's. That's the second time now that he's pulled off a good bit of defensive work in front of the goal. Right? So the ball has been passed forward and Ashwin Francis was not watching the ball. Almost bounced off his head but he has possession of it now and he gets it to Sachita Jatiga who shoots but well saved. I think Sachita needs to step up his game in this leg. I don't think he was that effective in the last leg. Got excluded a couple of times and was subbed off in the latter quarters. Yes, I've uh, always questioned his fitness and I don't mean to be disrespectful to the player. He's doing a lot of work with uh, Sri Lanka under-19. He's a cricket captain as well. He's a key rugby player but needs to focus on that physical conditioning. And we, were, we were talking, Shanak, about the passing of Royal College and we were demonstrated there always not picking out his man and turning over position again to St. Thomas's. Yes, and I think the issue is, uh, Pamukhe, that they probably haven't practiced in a large pool for a while. Good work there in defense by Rahul Vitanage on uh, Jayatilaka. The passing needs to be better. They need to make sure that they give it to him exactly where he wants it. And it's not just about getting it into the prop. It's giving it to the prop where he wants it. And that is a great uh, relationship that props and the passers build. Basit Yakub drawing the foul. The left-hander Yakub scored a couple of goals last week. Chandula Fernando now. Kahanavala does really well on him. Isura Kahanavala has been on point in defence, marking Rifa Tuez. And uh, I think I think it has been a plan of. I think it seems obvious that Royal tried to get the ball to Chandula or to Rifa at whatever possible opportunity. And it's good to see that Kahanavala is doing a great job of marking his man. Francis alive to uh, the opportunity this time around. Takes a shot. But inside the 5 meters says the referee, so it will be turned over. And it's a timeout called by uh, Alok Aprilis. It's an exclusion, I think, by Sachit. Sachi, I think Sachit that Jayatilika has been excluded. Yeah, there he goes. So, not the best start for him once again. And Roy with the extra man advantage will take a timeout to try and make the maximum advantage of the situation. The defensive referee calling that one. Sajita obviously pulled back his uh, prop mark or something there that uh, Silva saw, which we didn't see on our cameras. So our camera angle is not the greatest here today. Apologize for that. But we'll try and keep you up to speed on what's happening in the pool. So Alok Aprelis has called for a timeout. And this means that Raul will swim it up from the halfway mark. The first opportunity to get a goal on the board today by the team. So St. Thomas has defended with one man down. Jayati look at the prop, uh, the number six in the sin bin, so to speak. 
River to his, brings it up, but it's a bad pass to Jakub. He has to reach back for it. It's an excellent shot, but well saved by uh, Kosala Vijayawadana. And well, he as well. Oh. To get the long ball out to Dilaka Veeraratna, but it's just a little too long. And now St. Thomas has had to scramble back in defense again. River to his, swimming this one up, but Royal again bunching. An instinctive nature on attack is not there. Chandula Fernando trying to draw the foul, but Ashen Ashen. Francis does well. This the defense ability and once again Dilega Virata this time the pass is much better. Dilega Virata one and one with the goalkeeper. Lobs it over and a wonderful goal. Brilliantly taken goal by Dilega Virata. They tried to get him into the fast break earlier on. Vijay Wadhana's pass was not good but Francis's pass was right on the money. Just, uh, just far enough in front of the goalkeeper to tell him that he can't go for it. And Viraratna took that with a plum. Really composed in front of goal and all that experience coming to the fore, Pamukya. Yeah. I think it comes down to Royal once again giving the ball away in front of goal rather tamely and allowing the Tomi to set up the counter attack. Feel like Viraratna will always be looking to swim out and counter. This is the ball outside Royal now with a chance. Scramble for the ball on the near side. Vitana Gay goes for the lob. It's close but not good enough. It's a brave shot. But the timeout called by uh, Zafar Zainuddin. The bar doing the work for Vijay Vardhana there. But again, it shows Royal's willingness to shoot from outside. Uh, Pamukya. Yes, clearly something they've spoken about after the last leg because during the last leg we didn't see them take any shots at all from that far out. But I think the more important thing is they, are, they have to be more alert to their passing. Because now a couple of times the pass has gone astray but the teammate has not been paying attention. And they need to do more with the ball than they have it because St. Thomas's College have been brilliant in defence. Yeah, that's the difference between being psyched up and psyched out, uh, Pamukya. I think Royal are still not concentrating enough. This is where they lost it last time. They conceded four goals in the first quarter. And uh, that really dropped their heads. And they've got to be careful now that they've uh, got a five-goal deficit. That they don't allow this quarter to get away from them. They need to make sure they play quarter by quarter. And not think of the end result too much. So St. Thomas's College essentially leading by five goals at this point. Just in case you didn't uh, know what happened last week, it was uh, 11 goals to seven in favor of St. Thomas's after the first leg. Pass comes into Akhil Soja and that's a foul. And that's exclusion. the exclusion. That's Yakub who has been excluded and Soja winning that exclusion well. Good position. And now they've got an open man. Viraratna looks for the score. Comes off the hand of uh, Rifa Tuez, who managed to get his hand up in time. Sarja feeling a bit aggrieved with that call, but he needs to swim back now because the Royalists have carried the ball up to the halfway mark. Sarja, the captain, got on the score sheet and last time. again, not aware of the pass. I think it's the same man. Yakub, uh, in fact, a uh, couple of times he's let the ball drop behind him that was a bit optimistic i think and it's a clear clear tactic that Royal have thought about using i but i don't agree with taking a shot like that uh, shanaga because that shot was telegraphed a good three seconds beforehand and a goalkeeper of uh, kosala vijayavadana's nature you're not going to be beating him like I that completely agree with you pamukhe it's uh, it's one thing to have the threat of shooting from outside but here we have uh, Silva having a wee chat with uh, Asha and Francis and uh, Royal's number six, uh, that is Kisal Asalarachi. I think that's the first time we mentioned Asalarachi's name or games. He's been pretty quiet so far. As Francis takes the ball from the halfway mark, looking for space. Keshan Munasing is available. Dila Gavir Ratna on the outside, but a foul has been called. Munasinghe drifted forward and that's uh, what the referee said there. Drifted forward from where the foul occurred. So you've got to come back to where the foul occurred. You can take the ball from behind but not in front of where the foul happened. Just in case those of you are not as versed in the rules of water polo. Fernando. Sauja does well on Nasal Arachi. Concedes the foul but gives the left hander an opportunity to move the ball again. Referred to on the left hand side has found some space. 
pops it in to Chandula Fernando but the Tomians once again brilliant in defence Russian fences now with the ball he has options to his left Keshan Nursing breaking away from his defender and Rifa Tuvez has been excluded and oh, Sachi the Jaipilaka scores and makes his mark on the match for the first time I thought there uh, could have been a bit of advantage play there I thought some Thomas would have scored anyway but uh, Jajiraka getting his first goal but a bit labored getting there Pamokya that fast break should have happened much faster the urgency really missing from uh, St. Thomas's last week those fast breaks were happening much quicker and now two goals to the good it's a seven goal lead a six goal lead rather and Royal now have a mountain to climb. Uez swims it up. Chandra Fonseca popping again, a poor pass. Nowhere close to finding Jaffa. And a foul again has been called against one of the uh, Royalists who was not in position of the ball, I think. Daishika Das in the prop position. Pushing off his uh, marker, so uh, the referee really alert to that. Double team on uh, Jayatilaka, and he's been called for the offensive foul. Well, there's been a bit of a bit of commotion here because I think the. Uh, The Royal Prop Marker has actually found a box. And when I say box, I mean the uh, abdominal guard that cricketers wear being worn by Satita Jayatilaka. And he found it and chucked it out of the pool. Now that may be against the regulations, uh, Pamukya, where you can't wear foreign objects. Now I remember that uh, some of the players I played with used to wear a box because uh, it was such a vulnerable area when you're underwater. I don't see how they can call it that being definitively such it is though because the Royal players just pulled it out of the pool and chucked it out. So I think it would be a bit difficult for the referees to call this against Jayatilaka, even if it's against the rules. Well, uh, it comes down to the golf ball in Adam Yukris glove situation here. But uh, one question that you need to ask, how did the Royal marker find it? There are some things that we should rather not think about, I think, Shanaka. Uh, but I think the point that Safar Zainuddin is also trying to make to the coach is that you can't be sure. Well, it seems like it's a penalty. And uh, Zafar is saying, how do we know he didn't have it in his own trunks? So a little bit of controversy here. It's never really the Heyman without a little bit of uh, spice. But I think the consensus has been that there is going to be a penalty awarded. And Chandula Fernando, like he did last week, will line up for this one. So interesting uh, development. And what to say? <laughs> and Koshali Vijay Wadana. Coming up, Trump's there, saving the penalty as well as saving the follow-up. Chandula Fernando will be hoping there's, uh, he can go underwater and not come up again after that one. And that brings the quarter to an end. The Tomian and Cameron delighted with how that panned out. Vijayvaran, of course, one of the best goalkeepers in Sri Lanka. And Chandula Fernando, I feel, should have done better with the first shot. It's not the rebound. He should have, and uh, Vijay Vardhana, after last week's uh, rather average performance, I thought by his high standards, would have needed that one. And poor old Chandula Ferrando Pamoke, I've missed a Heyman penalty myself, and I still have sleepless nights about it. Sleepless uh, nights thinking about it, so I can just imagine what he's feeling. I am sure the build up to that penalty will make it sting all the more for him and make it all the sweeter for the Tomian encampment. I'm sure we'll have some stories about the box going around after this encounter is over. Absolutely, it'll be nice to be a fly on the wall in the Tomian dressing room after this match if they manage to win it. 
But uh, with that setback, Royals seem uh, a little bit deflated if they manage to get within two goals to one. Things will be okay. Uh, Sanjay Dajaleka is not in that huddle. He's just had a word with the ref off camera. So we'll need to find out what that's all about. Of course. Water polo is one of the sports where you get this kind of action, non-stop thrill. And if you are into, if you have enjoyed this coverage, you can also catch the Anand and Anand encounter on the 13th uh, at 5 p.m. at Sukhita Dasa Stadium. And also the ladies water polo encounter, ladies college versus Vishaka Vidyale on the 16th at 2 p.m. at the police pool. Brought to you live by thepapare.com as, as always. Yeah, those two uh, encounters coming up. Anand and Anand, the LC Visaka, going to be two real uh, humdinger clashes just like this one is here. The Heyman, of course, the pioneer of those inter-school clashes. But LC Visaka in its uh, 10 or 11 years of existence has really become a very competitive encounter itself. 2 p.m. at the police pool, so that'll be live on thepapare.com as well. And don't forget, if uh, you're not doing anything tomorrow, or even if you are, come down to the race course grounds where you can watch Fazil Marija lead Sri Lanka for the last time. He will continue to play as a Sri Lanka 7s player, but he will be captaining the team for the final time tomorrow at the race course in the Asian 7s powered by Dialogue. First day today, and we had some entertaining action in the men's and women's uh, draws. You can't see it on camera, but the referee is still having a word at the official's tent about. And there was no doubt about what it was about, as you could see him gesturing. Uh, so, some words have been had about the whole box situation as we are underway. In the second quarter, we are ready to kick things off. Well, uh, Chaitilaka thinking outside the box there. Literally and metaphorically, as we have the swim ball get underway for the second quarter. And once again, uh, Rahul Vitanage. Comfortably to the ball ahead I of Akil Sauja. I think that's six out of six swim balls for Royal College now over both legs. But clearly something that the Tomians aren't too phased about because they are very good defensively. Doesn't matter because uh, Dilaka Viraratna won the race that mattered there in the fast break. And so a push off. So the second time that a push off has been called on Daishika Dias. And that's a technical issue, uh, Pamuke. If, he, if that's the way he plays, he's going to have to change it pretty quickly. Great take by Asha and Francis but again a push-off call back the other way Keshan Munasinghe with the ball now good ball out to Kandavala Kandavala in space looking for man in and he draws a foul I think Dilaka Viratna looking for space Keshan Munasinghe is free he'll be looking for a shot here coming off a royal defender but a well taken shot well defended also so Thomas may have had a couple more passes before they took that shot. Sauja does well to uh, get in and uh, try and intercept that uh, Uwe's pass. Another big good bit of defending there, but the ball finds uh, Jakub. Jakub to Uwe's now. And he just to draw a foul. I think he's calling for... Okay. That was soft. Keshan Munising did brilliantly there. Uwe he said two. Uwe said two. Two of his teammates behind him, and I think he was a little frustrated that he had only limited numbers in attack. I think Royal College have decided that they can't afford to get any, let any more goals through. That fast break has really upset the way that they came out to defend Francis, trying to protect the ball. But and ends up giving in it the away. end, turning it over. And now Chandula Fernando, one of the better swimmers in this Royal team, attacking. Daishika Das has got to get out of his way. And Asha and Francis getting back in time to thwart the quick attempt. Vijay Vardhan does brilliantly again. Vijay Vardhan has had an excellent game today. Normally has very high standards and I thought he was a little short in the last game. But today he pulled, saved the penalty and pulled off a couple of excellent saves. Zainuddin was also not too happy. He was a goalie himself uh, when he played Zafar. So I think he would have had a few words with Kosala. Said, sorry chum, that wasn't good enough. Yet another exclusion for Royal. This is getting to be a problem. I think the pressure is getting to them. And uh, that's the experienced man who is. Who is. Not the first time he's been excluded today. He needs to be very careful now. One more exclusion and he's out of the game. Royal oh. can't afford that. 
Viraratna had the right idea, but the execution was not right. Unselfishly palming it off to uh, his wing player. I think he tried to be a little too cute there, trying to get the pass off with one touch. Not unlike the goal that was scored in the first leg, you may remember. And I think another case of a Royal Defender. Yakub has been asleep on that right wing all day. Well, I, I'm not sure you can fault him completely. Uh, Pamokia, the passes to him haven't been great either. And he has been having to scramble to get to them as uh, Zainuddin calls another timeout. The clock running down for Royal College as they face a daunting six goal deficit. It could have been pulled back to five with that penalty, but. Adding the pressure of a missed penalty on top of everything else, I mean, that's not going to be helping the team mentally. At this level, despite the two extra colours that St. Thomas's have, as we look at the scoreboard reading 2-0 in favour of the Thomians, the Blue Caps, it's a mental game more than anything else uh, at this at this level, uh, Bamoke, and uh, having your captain miss a penalty really puts a team on the back foot and the opposition in the ascendancy. Still the two goals scored today, quite a tame affair compared to the first leg where we had about seven goals and Saoja goes for a long shot and is deflected. That was Francis in fact Francis, with the long yeah. one. I beg your uh, pardon. Pamoke. But a good option. Number 10 is uh, being excluded again now Francis. So first exclusion for... And that's another exclusion. So two men out for St. Thomas's. Surely Royal, as well. Royal has to make something out of this. This is their best opportunity. Two exclusions. Oh dear, oh dear. It's been the story of the afternoon so far for Royal. As we and now to add insult to injury. Dilaga Viratha whack on that counter. What a wonderfully taken goal again. St. Thomas has two men excluded on the defensive end. Managed to see that threat off. And Veeraratna bursts to the other end and takes the goal, teases the goalie with a lovely lob just over his fingertips. And that is such a sinking feeling again, literally and metaphorically, Pamokia, when that ball is flying over your fingertips and there's nothing you can do. Fake the goalie nicely and a beautifully taken shot by Veeraratna, almost a mirror image of the first goal that he scored. And St. Thomas is now clearly in the driving seat, can sit back and enjoy this game. And I think Zafar Zainuddin can look to empty the bench. Pressure Again. telling on Royal now, the fouls building. And Chandula Fernando, the captain. How must he be feeling? Missed a penalty and then a double exclusion. He takes the responsibility upon himself, goes for the shot. Well, just but not his day, uh, Pamoke. I think he's just going to have to shake it off and realize that that's how life treats you sometimes. It's a seven goal lead overall if anyone's counting. And Royal College with a mountain to climb ahead of them. As Yahya Jaffa takes the ball. Kisal Asala Rachi has barely had the ball whole game, I think. And you were talking before the game, Mushanaka, where he has to step up today and be more of an impact. And that has not happened. Yakub, uh, in sheer desperation, tries a bounce shot from way outside. You've got to bounce it a little closer to the goalie to have some effect. And a good call by uh, Silva there, calling a foul on uh, Shaki Gunitilaka, who swam over Asala Rachi to try and get a head start. And Ashen Francis has been excluded once again. So that's the second exclusion for Francis. He'll have to be careful as well. Royal trying to take a page out of Dilika Veeraratna's book. But... Uh, Posala Vijayavad in a much more adapted dealing with that situation. Looks like another exclusion. Number 9 is excluded. So Yakub goes to uh, the bin for 20 seconds. And Francis, who's come back from the bin, will take this one up and... Uh, I think he's been subbed off because he used up his... Francis just took a little too long there. Yakub is going off, I think. 
Shannon Ebenezer was screaming for it. The ball took a little too long to get to the number nine. We see a substitution from the Royal side, I think. Uh, Senit Samaranaka is the man in. Wonderful goal there by the number 10, Ashan Francis, bouncing it into the near post. And the Royal goalie won't be happy to see the replay of that bounce right under his near post. And now Zafar Zainuddin emptying the bench. Shannon Ebenezer in the pool. Shaki Gunatilaka has been taken off after an excellent defense, excellent uh, couple of quarters defensively. Asha and Francis also gets a well deserved rest. I'm sure they'll be back in the fourth quarter to finish this one off in style. But for the moment, Akil Sauja leads. Uh, the least inexperienced, the least experienced seven that he's had in the pool for a while. If you're Aloka Prelis at this time, do you start thinking about salvaging some pride? I mean, it doesn't look likely that Royal can pull back this mountain. Eight well, goals. After what's happened, uh, I don't think that Royal can look for pride uh, anymore, even in this result. I think they just got to go for the jugular, throw caution to the winds, play one player up and hope that six players can do the job at the defensive end and try and just uh, have a fast break available at every opportunity. I so think I think both crowds would not want to see the team give up on the pool. They, they'll want to see the team try their best, try something new, not just take desperate shots from the halfway mark as they've started to do in the last few minutes. So Royal, if I were them, would probably just keep a man up, maybe Asalarachi or Fernando. And that's the pass that has let them down. The pass to uh, Senit Samaranayaka. He does better than uh, Jakob in that he finds the ball. And Royal! Through Chandula Fernando. Wonderfully taken goal. Just as you were talking about whether Royal are going to lay it down and roll over. They come back and show us that the fight is very much alive. And Fernando salvaging a couple of uh, shockers in the first quarter with uh, a good goal which Vijay Waldena should have done better at. And I don't so think he was expecting that shot to Shanaka because he was looking at the referee for his whistle and the shot caught him completely unawares. Akhil Sauja now looking for space. I think he's a go for the shot. His defender has left him completely unmarked and shot good. has been deflected. Good defense by uh, Royal there to get the hands up and not give Now on the counter. Jaffa. Yeah, yeah, Jaffa bearing down on goal, which I was in a one-on-one -on -one with him, and the shot is missed by Jaffa. Just went for the corner, and uh, that would have been a real shot in the arm for the Royal effort. Number 11 being excluded, and that's Jaffa, the man who uh, took the shot now excluded on the defensive end, so quite a few exclusions as compared to last week here. Keshan Munasinghe looking for a shot. Tads it in, but good save by the goalkeeper there. Excellent save by uh, the Royal goalie. Khalidu Hetiarachi was called into action last week several times. Shakya Gunatilaka has been excluded. And uh, exclusions coming from everywhere in the pool, Pamoke. It's a bit of a messy game in that sense. Quite a contrast from last week, Shanag, where we had maybe one or two exclusions at most. But nothing comes of that as it's half time here at the Sukhadasa International Stadium. Where St. Thomas's College are in the process of what is turning out to be quite a rout. 4 to 1 in this leg with a 15 to 8 lead overall. It is indeed. It's turning out to be an absolute massacre here. But Royal have put themselves on the board. They would have hated to have gone into half time without a goal on the board. And they've managed to avoid that through Chandula Fernando. But do Royal have it in them to come back? It's 4 goals to 1 at the moment. And it's 15 goals to 8 in terms of the deficit on the scoreboard, the overall scoreboard. And Royal will really have to do something spectacular to come back in and overhaul this eight goal lead. But they can't think of that, Pamukka. They've got to think of trying and winning this one, at least this leg of uh, the RL Heyman Trophy, or at least coming close. And on the other side, I think Zafar Zainuddin will be giving his team a sermon on the evils of complacency. He'll be telling them to forget 
the lead, just try to score as many goals as possible. You saw how agitated he got when his players started getting excluded, even with a 7-6 goal lead. So he's not going to take things lightly as yet. And Royal will have some challenge in front of them still. He's an absolute perfectionist, uh, Zafar, and his coaching team also. Especially after the loss, uh, the comeback loss in the Mind the Lienegay Trophy earlier on today, where Royal came back brilliantly from a two-goal deficit to overhaul that by uh, five goals and win by three. Unfortunately for Royal, the seniors haven't followed that example yet. But uh, I think St. Thomas's will want to stamp their authority in no uncertain terms here. The crowds are a bit quieter than what you'd expect them to be at this stage. I think the Royalists supporters are a bit resigned and the Thomians are simply enjoying the spectacle in front of them, conserving their energy for what they are sure is going to be a final celebration. Absolutely, and uh, it would be a great send-off for guys like Francis and Veera Ratna and Vijay Vardhana, who have been excellent for St. Thomas's in the recent history. They've arrested the run of Royal College victories and uh, kept the trophy with St. Thomas's for a while. Interesting to see what Prelis and Samarajeeva will be saying in this Royal College huddle. I can't see them coming back except through except through the uh, point man on an extra man all the time. So, Shana, now uh, it's a bit unrealistic for Royal, but what do you think they have to do to change things up? Because so far we've seen two men with the ball. We've seen Chandula and we've seen Rufet Tuez with the ball trying to score and the rest of the team is simply trying to be supportive around them. Uh, the likes of Kisal Asala Arachi uh, and uh, Basit Yakub even have not really been taking the shots in front of goal. So is that something that they need to look at? Well, I think what happened for them is that they tried those long shots which didn't go in, uh, Pamuk, and uh, clearly that's not something that they're comfortable with. It's something that they've tried to change up, and as a result of that, they lost confidence. And because of that, they are now trying to ex experiment and see which is a game plan that works for them. So both huddles, if you can't see both huddles right now, but both teams don't look like they've given up. The coaching staff of Royal, very, very... Uh, Emotional in their speech and Dilaga Veeratna, he might not be captain this year, but as he did in the last leg, giving impassioned speech at halftime, just like he did last week, marshalling his team on. Six goals for Veeratna so far in the encounter. Quite a feat. So we are about to get the second half underway and normally Shanak at this point of time, last week it was when the lights came on and both teams had to adjust but due to the weather, the lights were on quite early this time so that is not going to be an issue for either team. Of course they switched sides so that might... When it's uh, raining further in field in Colombo, Pamukke, so you might see that these rain clouds have a little bit of an effect on the game. But it's four goals to one, 15-8 on aggregate to St. Thomas's. And Royal managing to muster an ROYAL despite the scoreboard reading the way it is. That's good to see. They need to get behind their team now. So the only thing Royal have won consistently is the swim ball. I think the Tobians have resigned themselves with that, not even contesting it this time. Saving their energy. Stenit Samaranayaka winning that ball and uh, Yahya Jaffa taking it up. Looks like he intends to shoot but uh, then gives it to Uwes who controls from the centre position. Back to Jaffa. And, and another fantastic save by Torsel Vijay Vajna. He has been a wall in front of the goal today. And coming in from uh, the exclusion is Ashen Francis and using his head swimming straight down the right flank. Beautiful pass to Satita Jayatilaka. Dila Kavira Ratna gets the... Oh, dear. That was a great shot again attempted by Veera Ratna. Goalie completely out of position, but just wide of the target. And a poor ball, long by the goalkeeper. Goes right back to his counterpart, who looks to find Dila Kavira Ratna in space. And this is a man you do not want to give space to. 
One on one with the goalkeeper, but he looks for the, looks for the pass this time instead of the shot. Almira Ratna thinking, I've had enough. Jayatilak has uh, got a few more years <laughs> left. Tries the swivel backhand to bounce it in. I think the Tomi camp is just trying to have some fun now. Yes, they can uh, turn on their Globetrotter mode now and uh, do a bit of the fancy stuff. And it's, it also serves to uh, demoralize the Royalties further because they're saying to them, we are at some, in such a strong stage now that we can afford to do this kind of stuff. And again, a good block there by the defender, getting the deflection off on the shot. So no joy for Royal yet. And this is what I was talking about last week, Pamuka defenders and goalkeeper working in tandem. And it's very clear that Kosala knows exactly where his defenders are going to be so that he can watch one part of the goal. Francis, who has been outstanding today, gives it to Munasinghe. And just as I say that, he throws a pass that uh, wasn't very easy. Saja unable to collect. And once again, Jaffa with the ball. There is a foul. He has an option. Senit Samaranaik has found space. But once again, the wall that is Kosal Vijay Vardhana stands strong and says, you shall not pass. Yes, he has been reading his Bible, I think. Asher Francis. Oh, that's a beautiful lob. Beautiful lob by uh, Francis. Just brought the goalie out of the water. Teased him a little bit and lobbed it over his head. And Jan Samarajeeva has plenty to say from the sidelines, but his team doesn't seem to be taking a lot of it from on board. 5-1 to one now in this leg and 16-8 to eight the overall score. So it looks like Royal may have to be satisfied with uh, that come from behind victory in the mind the Lianagay Trophy, the under-15 encounter. This one seems to be well and truly in the bag for St. Thomas's. Refer to as finds Jakob, Jakob shoots and finally manages to beat the goalkeeper. I think there was a deflection there. This time not working in favour of the Tomians. Unlucky for the goalkeeper but Royal College some brief joy for them. Well, that was a bad deflection last week as well in favour of St. Thomas's. So, these things even themselves out, uh, Pamukhe. But I, it, took, I, it would have taken something like that to beat Vijay Vardhan today. I think the Dominions will be more than satisfied with the trade. The deflection last week, the one today. Stachi the Jayatilaka. Crowded out by two people and no foul. So, Good refereeing there actually by Silva. I thought uh, Jayatilaka didn't get the ball in a good position. And this is one area of the game I think St. Thomas's need to improve on. In getting the ball into their prop in a way that he can do something with it. Jaffa. Easy goal for Royal. That one uh, scored by... Senit Samaranayaka. They are good. Well, that, that is the best passage of play for Royal this whole game, I think. He opened scoring for them last week. And now you can see the Royal crowd have found their voice. 5-3 to three suddenly reads much better than 5-1. to one. And is this going to be one of the great comebacks? I don't think Royal can win the Heyman, but can they win this leg? They'll be taking the yeah, small goals now. They'll be looking to get the lead in this leg, first of all, before thinking of anything else. Really don't understand why they're giving it to him in such a crowd, Chayadilaka. But there has been an exclusion now. Number 7 for Royal College. Wales, to Wales. I think that's his third exclusion, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Pamoke. So, one more and he might be out of there. Chandula Fernanda now takes the ball up for Royal. The, Royal. the blue and gold crowd urging him on. Good vision there to spot Jaffa. But a really diffident shot there from Yahya Jaffa. Should have gone for the power shot. And now Royal... Managed to defend the ball meant for Francis. The, the lights really upsetting the goalkeepers on their long passes. And now Jaffa again with the ball. Gives it to Chandula Fernando. And again a brilliant block. Kosala Vijayawadana getting in front of the backhanded shot. So it's going to be a two meter throw for Royal. Throws it right back to refer to Wes. Wes who's on his... Uh, Last caution. Good defense there by uh, 
Keshan Munasinghe, I think it was. It is through Kahandala, actually. Akil so Sauja. Opting not to go for the long ball this time. Kosala Vijayvadhana after. The lights mess it up a couple of times. A good ball in. Can Sauja get there? Well done by the goalkeeper, I think, to swim out there and take responsibility. Yes, Hetiarachi did well. He was alive to the danger of uh, Sauja, the opposition captain, swimming in. And now the royal captain has the chance against a much slower defender. He leaves uh, Satita Jayatilaka in the dirt. And that really has... Really lucky not to get excluded there. I thought that was the defender. Francis with a beautiful shot. Tamil Ranasinghe is on for Royal in place of Tenit Samaranayaka. Well saved by uh, the Royal keeper Hetty Arachi who has come to his side's aid a couple of times in the last minute. And uh, cap number seven, I think they're calling for a substitution. And yes, uh, we were right earlier on. It needed to be a substitution for Rifa Tuwes because he was substituted three times. He was excluded three times. The official is a bit late there, I think. Uh, realizing it was necessary. So we see caps number four and three coming on. Anthony Vijayabhadran and Rashid Aziz. So that's that for Rifa Tuwes. The experienced man sits down for the last time. So the confusion has been uh, sorted out. Kisal Asalarachi, the other man, subbed off after being pretty much anonymous throughout this entire game. Akil Sauja taking the ball forward, looking for a pass, but he's surrounded by yellow caps, finds Dilaga Viraratna behind him. Viraratna will use all his experience to slow this one down a little bit, give it to Francis, who has been on, on fire today. And he takes the shot and beats the Royal Keeper. Beautifully taken shot. Rounded his arm there, Francis. And shot it low to the water. Outstanding goal. Not many players who can uh, shoot from different points in that arc on their shoulder. But Francis clearly has the uh, repertoire of shots. Good defense there once again by Shaki Gunadilaka. He's been on point marking the prop all game. He's an excellent prop marker. Been watching him for a while now. Even from last year, he doesn't find a place in the regular starting seven, but... Now Kahandavala has the ball out wide. But gives it away. Well, well done by the number three cap there. Anthony Vijayavadhan has just come into the pool. Some good defense there by him. Yaya yeah, Jaffa, who uh, hasn't been as threatening as he was last week. Has Not to find more options now that uh, Rifa Tuves is no longer available for the pass. Ops to go for... Well, I don't mind seeing that from Daishika Das. A little bit more attacking intent from Royal. They should have done that a bit more often. Keep Vijay than a guessing. He doesn't know where the shot is coming from, but now he's comfortable. And Francis does well to win the ball again. Tries an action replay of what he did the last time around, but this time straight at the goalkeeper. No problem there. The ball is in space and... Tamindu Ranasinghe. Uh, I feel that he should have done a bit better there. He was not aware of the danger, but he manages to get the pass in. That's Anthony Vijayavadana scoring there. Great pass by Tamindu Ranasinghe. Uh, he fell asleep. And suddenly the ball was in front of his face, but he recovered well enough to find the open man on the further bar, who took a good one-time shot. So, 6 to 4, much more respectable score now for Royal in the second leg, but 17 to 10 overall, Royal finally reaching double digits in the overall score. Will this be one of the uh, largest victories, Pamoke? I don't know the stat, but I'm sure it will be up there with one of the largest margins of victory. S still a 7-goal margin, definitely, and... We saw in the, uh, in the first leg that the fourth quarter, the Thomians 
were a bit superior to the Royal fitness wise. They took off, they took their, their foot off the gas in the second and third quarters a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last quarter as well. So Royal, I think, should at least uh, aim at winning this leg if not That's put the off game. the gas in the second but they and have third some quarter. Work to do it. They to get there. So we can expect them to come back yeah, strongly. I think Royal actually now more than the game, they just have to try and compete possession by possession and, and quarter, quarter by quarter. So we can expect them because to come back strongly. This game seems to be a bit behind, beyond them. A foot off the gas Six the goals to four though. A bit. So we can expect As them to come back strongly. As we see it on the scoreboard, the really nothing too much in it. But in the water, the judging the from the body language, and Thomas is way ahead. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarters a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third, and third quarters a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. With his position, he can't. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter just yet. They would aim. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. And do it in style, considering the how strong they are. Foot off the gas in the poor third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the long arm Yakub. And foot off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Done by a silly foul there, I think, and the ball is back with the foot off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarters a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the and second the and third quarters. And the referee actually showing a yellow card so to the Royal. We can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Coach Charlo Caprelis. A foot off the gas so in the caution. second and third quarters a bit. I don't. Was that so we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Assistant coach. It was Charlo. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarters a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Kahanavela gives it to Francis, who for some reason is not looking for the shot. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Kahanavela back again. And that is the end of the quarter. Quarter is a bit. Tomians look to score another goal, but strongly in the last. Running out of time. I think they should have taken that shot. It was on for Francis. It was on for the other player as well. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Trying to be too cute. I don't think Francis was aware of the clock in the second third quarter. He would have certainly gone for the shot. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarters a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarters a bit. So six to so four at the end of the third quarter. The, uh, the Royal is actually winning that quarter. Second and third quarter. Three goes to two. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Another milestone for them, I suppose, but they have a way to go. A foot off the gas. Two goals more to narrow the gap in this leg. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Well, that's what they've got to do in the next quarter as well. Third quarter is a bit. Okay, they've got to think about the quarter. Just winning that quarter. A foot off the gas. And incrementally trying to get back and salvage some sense. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Respectability. The rain clouds loom. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter. But the doom is for Royal more than anyone else. We can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. He has by no means taken it easy. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. And he will be telling his boys, I'm sure. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Position. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Referee blows the whistle for the players to get back to the line. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. The final quarter. We can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Trophy for this year. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly. Six to four the score in this leg. Seventeen ten. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. Thompson's College. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Royal College will be looking for some redemption. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter is a bit. Well, I think that Thompson's before anything else, Pamu can need to stop getting ahead of himself and realize that they need to finish strong. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Really. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. 
because they're clearly superior on the day. They put off the gas in the second and third quarter. It looks like they probably so we can might expect them to come back strongly. The line to be seen. They didn't contest the swim ball. They put off the in gas the in quarter. the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the line. Well, again, uh, Saujas team. Gas in the second and third quarter a bit. that they'll meet Royal so a little further out. We can expect them to come back strongly in the line. And now Yakub, the left hander. Put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the line. We'll take it forward the now. Uh, Chandula Fernando, the captain, a bit. playing so a lot of water to come polo back strongly in the away line. from the goal. They put off the gas in the Arsenal second and third quarter. back in the pool, but once again has so not received any sort of service. The Royal playing with two props. They put off the gas in the second Yaku. and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back Easily. strongly in the line. Dispossessed there the by the Asher in Francis, the and third quarter a bit. who has been the player so of this league so far. Back strongly in the Along the with Vijay Vardhanam, who has been excellent in goal. So we can Una expect him to come back strongly in the line. Sudhila Kavira Ratna, Yaya Jaffa, the the comes away with it. Third Could be a defence from the experienced Royalists. So we can expect him to come back strongly in the line. That was silly by Chandra Jaffa. Put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. No need to. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Contested and he's been excluded again. Put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. Indeed he has, and that's the second exclusion for him. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the He'll have to be careful now. Unnecessary bit of indiscipline there. Second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Finds Jaffa. Put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Arsal Arachi finally gets on the board the the and you can and see what that means to the Royal crowd. So we can expect them to come so back St. strongly. The will need to avoid being complacent and the letting Royal back in into this game. Kisal Arsal Arachi with his so first goal in the, the entire encounter so far. They've the needed a lot from him and, and they haven't the got it. But will so they at least be able to win this quarter? They put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. So Sachita Jayatilak I think has been sub put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. Exclusion. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. Shaki so we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. Please, Zainuddin. A foot off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect them to come back strongly in the last. from a little further up. I was staying back in front of the goal. Gas in the second and third so quarter. Chandula Fernando forces stay back. We can expect him to come back strongly in the last. Good tactics from Mr. Thomas. Second and third quarter a bit. So we can expect him to come back strongly in the last. Vijay Vardhana slowing it down now. Put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. Doesn't look like they're using the shot clocks this time. Pamo, uh, okay, I can't really see the them. Put off the gas in the second and third quarter a bit. Looks like Keshan so Munasinghe both being both being sent out and told to remove their caps. I think so. Being sent out without substitution. Aloka Prail is already on a yellow card. Needs to be careful. So again, Aloka, we talked about this last week when there was only one foreign referee flown down. There hadn't been any, any controversy.
just one exclusion that Sadhya uh, Jayatilaka won early on in the game. They haven't been able to find that game, a conventional game where you put it into the prop and win the exclusion. That is a poor, poor pass in by Roy Coy, straight into the arms of Kosala. Senit Samaranayake expecting that ball, but uh, the passing to the prop has been of poor quality in both teams. And another exclusion, is it? Yeah, I think Yahya Jaffa has been asked to... No, not Yahya Jaffa, I'm sorry. The number six cap. Kisal Asala Rachi, that is. So it looks like... Uh, St. Thompson's College are driving in the final insult. Well, it's still 1 0 to Royal in this quarter, Pamoke. So, St. Thomas's have not capitalized on that brilliant start that they had. They were leading four goals to one at the half time break. And they've led Royal back in the game. Three goals to two. They've been outscored in the second half. I'm sure as long as they manage to uh, retain the overall lead in this leg and in the overall match, they won't be too fast. Still a one-goal lead in this leg, so they'll be probably looking to slow things down now. As Royal desperately looking for that one or two goals to salvage some last bit of pride. Is it a double exclusion for Royal College? They have certainly looks like it. I think it might be one exclusion and the substitute waiting to come on in the box. Francis will move it around and ask for it back. Viraratna will take the shot surely. Comes off the bar but a good shot taken there. Viraratna is good enough to convert. Prelis on a yellow card but doesn't seem to bother him. He's uh, still badgering the referee. Yakub gives it to Asala Rachi, but good defense scrambling back from uh, Shaki Gunatilaka. He's an excellent defender, Shaki Pamoke, and he's a uh, good man to have in the pool at this point. So Royal with the two meter throw, I think. Akil Sauja persists on staying in front of his own goal, and this is precisely why caught on the counter now. Beautiful technique from Dilaka Viraratna. So strong on the ball. And it's not third time lucky for him. The Got ahead of his uh, marker beautifully there, but Yakub and Chandula Fernando chase back. I think Dilaka himself has given Kalindu Hetiaric too much practice on dealing with those lob shots throughout this game. Manages to deal with it this time around. As Royal tries a back pass there, finds a prop, and manages to draw the foul. Daishika Dias there, who manages to get the... Uh, Back out to Tamindu Ranasinghe. Lazy defence from Isuru Kahadavala, conceding the penalty as well. In the act of shooting was Yahya Jaffa. And Kahadavala, who's been so good defensively, suddenly seems to have uh, let the discipline go. Well, the way things have gone, I think a penalty is a safe option for the Tomians the way Kosal has been performing. But different player opting to take it though. It's a left-handed Yakub. So that's something else for Kosala to think about. And well converted there by Yakub. Goes right across the body. So Royal winning this third and fourth quarters. Oh, nice catch. Shaake Gunatilaka will try and make sure that St. Thomas's get on the board in this quarter. Kahandabala loses the ball, but a little bit too excited in front of goal. Found himself absolutely open. And uh, Prelis calls a timeout for all to try and make it 3-0 in this quarter. All tied up as far as this leg is concerned, 6-all. But I think the Tomians at this stage are looking at the bigger scoreline. 
which at the moment reads 17 to 12. Well, from St. Thomas, this is just not good enough, Pamukya, the way they started the game off. They've allowed Royal back into it. It's not so much that Royal have done anything too different. But they've done well. Coming back into this game after looking really down and out in the first two quarters. They've stuck with it. We are worried that they might give up, but that's not the Royal way. Yeah, definitely, I think both the supporters and the coaching staff can be proud with how they played in the second, third and fourth quarters especially. But just the mountain, they left themselves too big a mountain to climb in the first leg. And uh, now suffering the consequences. Well, if this is tied up, the 11-7 deficit that uh, St. Thomas has had in the first leg will be in their favour, of course, as Chandula Fernando, the captain, looks to move this ball diagonally. Asal Arachi, bang! It's a great goal from Asal Arachi. And this is the man that went missing in the first leg for them. Been calling for him to come into the game more for Royal. And that's exactly what he's done. And it's three goals to nil in the third quarter. St. Thomas is a little bit embarrassed by this goal. I know they should be at least. They win the Vijay Vardhana. Well saved by Kalindu Hetiarachi. He's come to the party as well. Pulled up some good intercepts and saves the goalkeeper. That's a good call uh, from the referee, Dilaka Viraratna, absolutely manhandled by Yakub. And he converts the foul. That's a hat trick for Dilaka Viraratna. His second hat trick over the course of two legs. Seven goals in total. Seven goals for the long arms of uh, Dilaka Viraratna. Really composed. Has missed only two shots on goal in the entire encounter, I would think. That is brave by Kosala Vijayavadana. <laughs> Swimming far out to collect the ball there and then finding Ashen Francis. Francis knew that time was up, so he took the quick shot. And that's the end of that. It's seven goals all. But far more importantly, the final score at 18 to 13 is the score line that both teams will be looking at. St. Thomas's College jubilant. And an outstanding effort from Royal to come back into this game. Trailing 4-1 at halftime and finishing 7 goals all. But 11 goals to 7 was how it finished in the first leg. And on aggregate, St. Thomas is winning by 4 goals. So a comfortable win for them in the end. And a 3 beat for the St. Thomas's College team. It's three years that they've kept the trophy with them. And Dila Kaviraratna and Kosala Vijayawadana signing off with dominant performances. Hasti Dasha and Francis and Akhil Sauja didn't get among the scorers today, but he'll be very happy with the defensive effort from that team in the first half. And for all commiserations, they've done well to get within touching distance. But uh, it seems that next year's encounter will be even more enthralling than this Pamukya. Definitely, uh, Kosala Vijayavad in the man of the match for me for this encounter. Got in some vital blocks. And Dilaka Viratna, I think, overall over both legs, seven goals. Outstanding effort. And considering that the final gap was only five goals, certainly made the difference. Well, you're a kind man, uh, Pamukya, in giving the goalie uh, man of the match effort when uh, he's conceded seven. But I have to agree with you. He uh, did come up with some uh, good saves. But Ashen France is also worthy of mention today, the way he played. But for St. Thomas's, such is the absence. That's unfortunate. He didn't really get among the score sheets. 18 goals to 14. And Kamin the Nane Akkara will give away the trophy to Akhil Saucha this evening. But it has been an absolute stunning game of water polo that we've seen so far. 
and a lot more to expect as the season gets underway. This is the first encounter of the 2015 season, and these two teams will play each other a lot more in the upcoming weeks. Deputy Shanak, and if all of those, those of you watching, if you want more water polo action, if, if this spectacular encounter has left you wanting more, we will be providing, of course, there is the Ananda Nalanda water polo encounter happening on the 13th, and the Ladies College versus Visaka Vidyal encounter on the 16th. Two great events to look forward to. So lots to look forward to in the upcoming week in terms of water polo action on the papare.com. Don't forget this leg, this uh, enchanting leg will be on uh, DTV as well in a uh, few days time. So don't forget to uh, tune into that. And we'll see you all at the race course for sevens action. The uh, Asian rugby sevens powered by Dialogue going underway at uh, the uh, race course grounds. We'll be back tomorrow with the Asian sevens. Until then, it's goodbye from us here.